Hello, everyone. Trentia here. No, uh, I'm Novakistan. And welcome back to Z. We, we need twenty six hundred dollars right now, or else we're simulator. We're, we're getting the bad ending. Uh, anyways, <laughs> you wanna you wanna four it up? You've been talking a lot with that Alma girl. Jealous. I mean, I do like the giant boobies. Yeah, shout, uh, shout out to Anna just going like, Hey, I can pull up her shirt. You want to see that? And then I just going like, Shut up. So the answer is yes, yes, but <laughs> in, not like that. Uh-oh. We see closing 40% of its bars in Glitch City. Well, that's my thing. The, oh, it's British Trademark Council? Do we know that? <laughs> I, I didn't know that before now. The British Trademark Council is facing some economic troubles in Glitch City, and it looks like they're on their way out. Blaming rising inflation rates and a weak currency, the BTC has given the order to disband almost half of its recreational businesses in the city. We can't keep doing businesses like this, or business like this. Glitch City has a negative impact on our earnings, and we can't continue in the red, a pure representative told the argument today. Prime Minister Quincy, on the other hand, thinks the BTC is just too greedy. They make a lot of money already, and now they're crying because they can't have more? Give me a break! Oh yeah, this. Late to the party, augmented I. <laughs> uh -oh. Wearing socks with sandals in hell, because that's where you deserve to be. In public is now a crime. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like to say we have the freedom to wear whatever we like in the streets of Glitch City, so long as we adhere to decency rules. However, that's about to change. Glitch City's Department of Public Decency has declared that wearing socks and sandals together is, punish is a punishable crime. Even if... Yeah, Jesus. If convicted, the guilty face three days in jail as punishment for using that abominable combo. But what do you think? Should we wear whatever we want? Or should the fashion police of high society decide for you? Whatever the case, I think I'll simply stick to the right side of the battle. Goodbye, socks and sandals. Gods be praised! <laughs> for, firstly, law, I'm all in for. <laughs> yeah, same. I'd be alright with that. Especially since it's like, hey, just spend three days in jail and think about how fucking dumb you are. <laughs> Birth rates decrease as the youth prefers Lillum Company. Well, cool. At the beginning of the century, the idea that people would rather be with robots instead of other humans was treated as a joke. But the reality is that the convenience of these kinds of relationships have become immensely popular among Glitch City's youth, to the point where birth rates are beginning to decrease at an alarming rate. Anime. Anime? Really? I don't get it. Anime, a 17-year-old student, agrees with the general sentiment. It's just so much better than dealing with other people, you know? You can just make your own perfect partner. Oh, and sex is amazing! <laughs> Don't even get me started. Seventeen. I hope, yeah, yeah, I hope not. <laughs> it's expected that new regulations will soon... Uh, it's expected that new regulations will soon to be announced to address the situation. Dealing only with alone can be tiring, though. <laughs> yeah, imagine <laughs> being with Dorothy every day of your fucking life. Honey, <laughs> I'm hungry! <laughs> Uh, Surviving I mean, in yeah. Glitch City. Yeah. Ooh. Any tips for a new friend in this wonderful land? Oh boy. Self-deprecating thread? Don't trust in white knights and don't go out after 5 p.m. unless you want to get mugged or murdered. <laughs> Bring a portable chair everywhere. You'll have to line up for, for flour. Lol. Get used to what? Get used to eat what you find. Shortages are getting out of hand. I've been eating rice with butter for months now, but I guess it could be worse. Don't jinx it, please. I have enough as it is. So, coming here was a mistake. Why would you come here anyway? Visiting family, but now I want to take them out. Do it while you can. Yeah, airlines are leaving the city. Lol, <laughs> soon we won't be able to escape. Crying face. Can I even get some weed in this crap hole somewhere? Yeah, I just PM'd you a good dealer, winky face. That guy's this a cop. Is closed. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken, my grandpa lived here before they turned into Glitch City. Yeah, it was Stable Junction City beforehand. Stable Junction City! <laughs> oh, thank you. I like that. I, I, I don't think I saved my game. I'm going to save my game just in uh, just in case. Gods yeah, be praised. Dude. Okay, let, let's go to work, y'all. Let's make $2,600. Things I don't say in real life. I'm excited to go to work today. Things I say when I play Valhalla. Vahala. I'm excited to go to work today. <laughs> hey. Okay, so we've got almost everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. Like a really fat paycheck for me tonight. True. And so I designate you, Gillian Applegate, uh, Gillian Applegate, as official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. Applegate? I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. 
And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not gonna say anything, Jill. If it means not being delivery girl, I'm happy to fake helplessness. <laughs> Ugh, fine, give me the list. I'll be back uh, sometime. Something tells me you're planning something. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? <laughs> Call it a gut feeling. Did you know Gil has a crush? He what? A client of his, a girl that owns a bazaar. She's been coming on. Well, she's been coming <laughs> on to him for ages, and he's only just started opening up. She's been squirting on his face for a while, but he's just getting the picture. But he's taking steps backward, and I'm not going to let him. He's opening up for fuck's sake. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I take it. That's right. Huh. All right, then. To the office I go. As for me... <laughs> and then predicate will I put again before subject. You know, Dana's a real one, man. She is. I love her. <laughs> like you know, it's like just think of all. Well, I mean, first off, she. I. I won't. We don't know what her fucking history with Gil is, but just no. Just the, she really you know, loves she, this guy. Yeah, just I don't know. If, like, oh yeah, you can just work here under this guy's name, so no one fucking like can tie you to this place and all this. Let shit. me get you an apartment. Yeah, yeah. and then like her helping us out Covering with everything. His ass, sometimes literally, apparently. Yes, and then just yeah. all of a sudden, like, yeah, Gil's been crushing on this girl. And I'm gonna send him to the place that she she works or you know she owns. So just I don't know what 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 a Dana, lovely person this Dana, Dana Zane is. Dana Zane has a heart of gold. Oh, and not to mention saving Kim from fucking suicide. <laughs> yeah, you're 30 years old, dude. You can do what the fuck you want. You know, like 19 things myself. of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Time to make streaks and change lives <laughs> and end lives. Gil with a crush, huh? Uh, whatever. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. No, no, whatever. This place. <laughs> Great! Oh, if it isn't... <gasps> hey, Jill. Sorry, but is there anything anywhere I can hide? There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Boss, stalked woman incoming. Uh-oh, Dana's... G the door's open. Go ahead. Door to the left. Thanks! <laughs> oh, hello there! <laughs> Oh, hi there! The other one. That's the bathroom. <laughs> Wait, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? <laughs> oh no, Gil's gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh god. Uh oh. Now, where did she. Oh, the hellhole. Perfect. <laughs> hey, kid. I'll have the usual. Right. Huh. He remembered me after two weeks. Yesterday, he's not been here for quite some time. Giant beer. Giant price tag. <laughs> if only. One, two, three, four. All mixed. But wait, what is Donovan doing stalking Kiramiki, huh? I mean, I guess he's can trying get to get a, the scoop. Yeah, or or, <laughs> or a scoop. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Here. This seems right. The paper's been a mess lately. You'd think with all that's happening, they'd stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for vacations, and I can't afford to be understaffed. So I had to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produces the most reports. I see no difference in my feed, though. Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but... Fuck yourself. You do know the infamy of the augmented eye with the general public, right? A shitty page that will over-sensationalize anything... <laughs> A shitty page that will over-sensationalize anything and report useless things. Of course I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? To put it simply, I'm being clutched by the balls. In the non-pleasant way. Zaibatsu Corp and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Report on them once and they'll find something to find you with. Twice and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that and the best case scenario is that they'll buy the damn operation to keep it quiet. I know there are more no newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out that week. But if I overstep, my ass is on the line. Huh. Glad to see this hellhole still in one piece. The BTC has been going apeshit closing bars lately. Oh yeah, that. Yesterday, they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. Oh. And last week, they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. <laughs> huh. 
Not to mention, there are like a hundred people who have BTC cer uh, certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin at the BTC after this whole thing. Man, shit ran deeper than I thought. And no news outlets talks about that. Alright kid, let's try a moon blast now. Come again? Hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. A moon blast? That's a new one for him. This better be a Everyone's trillion trying bucks. trying new things. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. One powder delta, one flanner guide, and two carmatrine. Oh my god, where's the button, Dad, dude? In what universe is a beer cheaper than any mixed drink ever? You mean the sweet, girly, happy drink. That's <laughs> Here. Now, let's see what the rugs is about. Um, so, what brought you here? Oh, right. Didn't you see a little coming in here? <laughs> Blue hair, big tits. She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. Not really. She jumped to the roof then? Oh. Why were you looking for her? Did you want an interview? Not really. Just hitting on her. Oh, oh. no. Dana's going to come out and kill you, dude. You got <laughs> hey, I said I was hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. Why, though? Are you that bored? Don't you have, like, a family or something? Have you seen that girl? Hot as tits. Also, hot ass and tits. <laughs> I'm sucking the weirdest combo being hard as fucking curious as shit right now. <laughs> Whoa, my God! I want to know just how detailed these King Class Chia models are, personally. And so you followed her. I've got to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. The D stands for dick. Hard You're in dick. front of one, and I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife? But that woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. They're perfect for each other. In fact, I'm pretty convinced she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. Hmm. So, that little miss in here, huh? I'll have to find a bus enough for place and find or I'll explode. <laughs> Hey, after you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. <laughs> right. I'll give you a pile driver, all right. <laughs> Let's just give him a pile driver. Literally. I wish there was a button to, like, just sick Dana Zane on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as opposed to the trunk money, trunk uh, monkey button, uh, it's the Dana Zane button. Uh, boss, I got a horny man out here, and she's like, fucking slaps her elbow, <laughs> she just comes out of the office. <laughs> here. All right. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Maybe I'll find someone that looks a bit like her. Thanks for the 800 bucks, dude. Mm. The guy left. Ah, uh, all right. Thanks for sheltering me, Dana. Hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you. Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of folders. How nice of you. It's nothing, really, and she did hide me, so it's the least I could do. But, well, we're here already. Mind give me something sweet? Like maybe a kiss? <laughs> sure. Miss Idol wants something sweet. And Miss Idol is going to get the most expensive sweet thing I fucking uh, have. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think it's this one. <laughs> give her two, give her three. Uh, two, three, all aged and mixed. Give me a few, give me five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my lifestyle turns my death style. <laughs> <I'm a joke>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, no. So, uh, do you know why Donovan was following you? My big fat tits. I don't. <laughs> but that wasn't. <laughs> Sorry, I made myself laugh. <laughs> I don't. But I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just don't. I, I just didn't want to humor him. Man, what? I don't even want to know what the worst she's dealt with, and if that's not the worst of it. <laughs> Jeez, something that Dorothy has to deal with, probably. Oh, God, yeah. I see. Seems like he was just trying to come on to you. <laughs> he was trying to come on to you. <laughs> you don't say. Well, not like you'd have any chance, anyways. Get fucking owned. I'm not into older guys, and I've already committed to a relationship. Oh, hell yeah. And before, she's like, I'm committed to, to all my fans. <laughs> Figure, wait, you are? 
It's not common knowledge, and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but... I've been in a relationship with my producer for a while now. Uh, mm. The dynamics on that one... Not, Could be questionable. Not, I'm, I'm feeling a, a light two on the dynamics of that relationship. <laughs> <laughs> really? We were both single, and that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time together. But it all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love in the lack. I remember that one. He offered, me he offered to help me with that, and after I read it, and I thought, shit, I'll run that. I already knew him well enough. It wouldn't hurt to try. How oh, nice. He's a stick in the mood where <laughs> where planning is due, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I've met two fanziers lately. Really? Both of them seemed so excited when they were talking about you. It was amazing. <laughs> I don't like that term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious in my opinion. I have mainly fans, doesn't sit so well. I like many people who like my music better. Fan evokes an uglier, more pretentious image of me. For me, even, if I could read. Do you like what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but the few things I've heard are really good. And not gonna lie, having talked to you, I feel like I would support you even if I didn't like it. I do have a fucking poster of you in my apartment, but so nice to hear. Ah, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? 500 bucks! We're golden! <laughs> Yeah, sun tea like. My record is something bitter, but girly is fine too. Mm, give me that fucking tea, girl. Everything is now priced at a thousand dollars. Here. Perfect. Hey, you're a king class chia, right? That I am. Don't ask me about my pussy. <laughs> May I ask something about your model? <laughs> sure. Oh god. Are there oh, differences boy. between you and a DFC 72? Yeah, I can shoot the missile out of my clitoris. Hmm. <laughs> Dorothy can do that too, she's bonded herself. <laughs> I'll bet. Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but. <laughs> DFC 72s have the port on their hands, which makes them more versatile. My land lacks that or resilience that the DT 01Ds, but. Or a tad more polished elsewhere. Like in the battle. My more specifically, our voice emulators are more advanced and our movements are smoother. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Ah, huh, I see. Ah, uh, Jill. Will you go to my next concert? I heard every ticket was sold out. Never mind how expensive they are. Well, it's just like real life. <laughs> so I guess that's a no. Sorry. Now you will. Here. Uh, eh? Is is this fucking back? It's a ticket for my Ankara concert. Sorry, it's not the better seat, but I only get so many free tickets. No, I mean this is amazing. I don't know if I can accept it though. You will. It even has a backstage pass, so we can talk afterward, and you'll let me know how it was. Why give it to me? I don't know. I like you. You're attentive and hear me out. Th that behavior should be rewarded more. Well, thanks. God, it feels so weird to get a gift. And from a celebrity, no less. Don't think too much about it. You deserve it. Although I guess I can understand how you feel about receiving gifts. I usually get to quite a few from fans, but I always feel so weird. I don't like feeling as though I got something for free. Luckily, I've thought of a way not feeling so bad about it. How? Just give it all my. Bleh, just give it. Oh, wow. Just give it my L on stage. I kept reading L first. They gave those gifts to me after watching me perform. It's only natural for me to do my best and give my all as a way to repay them. I should, uh, give him my all mixing drinks then? 
Of course. I... I see. Well, I've got to go, but let's have a sparkle star first. Yeah, she's closing out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A sparkle star for Miss Idol. Good, yes. I think she'd single-handedly got us to pay the rent. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, her and Dawson both. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. What a chance encounter. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, God. Just about. I mean, this is still first part of the day, too. We gotta, we gotta mm -hmm. remember that. A whole other half of it, yeah. Sparkle star. Here. Sparkling. Well, it's always a pleasure, deal. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to see you. Someone give my guy some comeuppance. Um, uh. Boss, Gil's back. I'll take my break. All right. And hey, look, look, the only person who's not called him a fuckboy or a John face, he says, oh, the handsome Fucking bartender. You're a meeky, dude. That's, that's my boy right there. The handsome bartender. I, I love him. He's in my top three, I think. And like, honestly, like as much as I, I was like, I, I crave knowing who the fuck Gillian is. I don't even care at this yeah, point. Like I, at this point, it's like, oh, yeah, I, I work with a terrorist, maybe. <laughs> like, okay. That just is how it is. Well, sometimes you work with a fucking terrorist, you know. Fucking terrorists! You can't go across <laughs> the bridges now. Love GTA 4. I want to go bowling. <laughs> Uh, I'm so sad Rockstar got the multiplayer out of that. Yeah. Note to self, buy oil for that door. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh... Well, we really got all the way to nighttime maneuvers, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Or... Did we? No, Wait, no. No, we didn't. We were on uh, Unimoto. Umamento? Umimoto. Okay, so... Whatever, let's go. Yeah. Alright then. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gil, you're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of Boss's chicken buckets. <laughs> <laughs> did Boss ask you to do that? Uh, if I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. Let's go with that, then. Right. <laughs> oh. Greetings. Ah, Stella, what can I get you? I'll go with a bleeding Jane today. Oh fuck! I was on the wrong fucking thing. I was gonna do that. And it was gonna be funny when I cut in with it. Fucking hell! I fucked it up. I fucked it all up. God damn! I fucked that up. I did, this video is demonetized. It was never monetized again, but it's demonetized after dropping three fuck bombs in a row. Make that four. God damn it! Look, buddy. So, uh, just, uh, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, when you come, you're not fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> Call that uh, vertical ejaculation the way I'm on the come up. Uh, Here you go. Thank you. Also, yeah, I was thinking about this today at work. Uh, you know, like when we first met Stella and we would like say the word I and she'd be like, I. And it was like, oh, like, haha, that's funny quirk that Stella has because she talk, you know, she reacts to I. And like after learning about why she has the, the implant, uh, it's like, oh, yeah. no, she's got, she, she's got trauma attached stress. to, to yeah. eyes. Sad times. What brought you here today? Waiting for say? I came by myself, actually. I was in the area and stopped to say hi. Oh. It's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted you ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean, really clean. It doesn't smell like dog piss at all. Gil's the one you can know that one, too. The guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you're needed cleaning staff, he's a nice pick. Really? Hmm. <laughs> 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 but he's a bit out of it today, though. I see. Hey, Jill, you ever heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white knight suits. I think I heard or read something about that, but I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how's it a gold rush? Well, the tech behind the suits was always per uh, safety guarded, safely guarded, but after the events at the bank... Sorry. 
After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, breaking many of them in the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Any white knights still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually to run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings, so they'd be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. So, between the suits becoming glorified paperweights and many white knights going on the run, there ended up being a lot of junk lying around. But the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're in a race to reverse engineer the suits and take, them, uh, take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, every single piece of the armor fetch a high price these days. Did anyone see any profit from that research or justify those expenses? It's new tech, a whole new field ripe with patents just open for many, so I'd say yes. Huh. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks. I can see how. There is one weird case, though. Hmm? There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg Corps unit. Hey, yo, Captain Jack. <laughs> unique? The guy had a really small unit. Five people, including himself. He had a really small unit, you know what I'm saying? The aesthetics of the unit's armor was heavily modded to the point where they looked like a squad of henshin heroes. And what? <laughs> uh oh, someone's about to <laughs> explain some of their uh, uh, favorite things or something. Ahem. <clears throat> they looked really gaudy. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He was one of the few, if not only, suits of armor with the OS intact. To say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting, the amount of things you hear when you're dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. It also helps put a front it also helps to put on a front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. <laughs> True. Hmm. Wait. Here's a freebie. A fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces. <laughs> Jesus. But regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. I guess even Zaibatsu Corp has its limits, huh? People love to demonize Zaibatsu Corp because, let's face it, they're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords, they're just, uh, greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what tantamounts to a city-state. But corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold a bottle in the wrong way or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. Let's not start with theme parks or the or the like. Those are dystopias of their own. Then again, most of the demonization is due to Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just a front for whatever council behind Zaibuza Corp chose. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zaibatsu Corp is actually doing. <sighs> yeah. So what you were saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park. I've caught up the White Knight's glorified mall security in the past. So yeah. Huh. Mm. No, seriously. And what? <laughs> <clears throat> um, hmm. Can I get a Brantani here, please? Only if you pay me 700 bucks. Sure, sure. Now let's give her a Brantini. Pay me seven dollars, pay me seven dollars. No, I, I, I want seven times this. I want seven times the asking price. I'm like a shitty eBay seller. Here. That was weird. Thanks. <laughs> so I take it you're in a good mood today. Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well... I managed to nab a couple of tickets for the Kiramiki con Encore concert. Nice. Oh, right. As it turns out, she was just here. 
Again? Ugh, sorry. Again. Can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised too. I was more I was more surprised she remembered my name though. And like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true. Amazing. I know. She even got me a ticket for the concert. She what? <laughs> I had to twist some arms to get tickets for the Encore concert. And not only did you get them for free, the idol herself gave them to you? Do you have any idea how jealous I am right now? It'll be interesting. You're gonna enjoy the hell out of it, trust me. This will be my first live concert of her, but I've seen every other concert of hers on video. They all have such a magical aura to them. Everyone says they have seen. Yeah, they, they have to be seen to be believed. You really like your music, huh? It makes me happy. What can I say? I love listening to it when I'm feeling down. Hell, it even helped me when I was worried sick about say at the bank. It made me forget all my worries, even if for a little while. Stella's on the the fucking Kirimiki YouTube like uh, channel, watching music videos. Like like like, I'm in such a dark place right now. I have a lot going on in my life, but there, the Kirimiki's <laughs> music is always the my my star in the dark sky. <laughs> Amazing. Huh. I see. Hmm. Say, Jill, you want to come to the concert with us? Us? I invited Say because I managed to get two tickets. You want to come with us both? <laughs> It ain't gay if it's in a three-way. I'd love to. I don't want to go by myself, but... Are you okay with that? I don't want to be a burden. Of course. The more the merrier. What was I just saying? <laughs> Do you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not the kind to lie about stuff like that, so sure. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. That said, can you go to the country so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. <laughs> and you'd be surprised at how easy I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and a cap. I see. I wonder if I can get in the disabled line with saying her wounds. <laughs> Although, she'll, be a prob she'll probably nag me about how she doesn't need him. We shouldn't abuse that. <laughs> hey, can you get me a classic drink? Sure. Still want something classic now. You know what's classic? <laughs> a beer. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what's more classic than a beer? Which is more expensive than a mixed drink we just served some uh, chauvinistic bastard not too long ago. I mean, beer literally saved this uh, species. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> not trying to do it as own or anything, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any servants around the house, Stella? I do, but they've been with us for so long, they're pretty much family. My dad has always said that if you earn someone's trust, they'll gleefully work for you, and everyone wins. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering, and he actually came back. He still comes by every weekend to tend the plants. Man, that sounds nice. Let me know if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait. Hmm? I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. What would it be? Wouldn't all that tech be patented anyways? I get trying to crack it in the first place, but... That would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't? Zaibatsu have been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable that they've never patented anything. A patent would be in the database for someone to, uh, wow, that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. Not to mention, they've been using tech from other companies without authorization. And no patent registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how immobilized everyone's still inside one of those suits. So the ones that were upholding the law did so using suits that, by all mean, er, that are by all means illegal? The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why do it, though? <laughs> when you have so much money, you start thinking that you can screw around with the rules. All that power makes you think you're above the law there that 
You're above every law there is. In this city's what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious, though. Have you ever covered up any fuck-ups by using money? I think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point of our lives. Well, Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Please come again. Ah, Alma. <laughs> no, hello. You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy. Something I will fight to uphold. Fine. Hi, let me see those big tits fart. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> First the greeting stop, then saying please and thanks stops, and before you know it, boom! Total anarchy. That's true. You're exaggerating. I am not. In fact, I'll go through that door again, and I expect you to properly greet me this time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Fine. <laughs> Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary. <laughs> <laughs> Over many a quaint and curious one my forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. Why is she doing this to herself? As of some as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. <laughs> you overdid it. You totally overdid it. This is really sad. Quoth the bartender, I did not. <laughs> so you like poetry? I had a phase. Can I get you something? That, that's called Lenore. Why is she doing this? <laughs> Let's start with a big cobalt velvet. Sure. A big cobalt velvet for Alma. I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, like four, five, my, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My wife Linda died last week, and then you're just sitting there like... Oh, Linda, Deborah, Deborah, dear Linda, like just singing a song about it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Nothing makes it seem like you're uh, innocent by making a song about it so soon after the fact. I guess. Here. Thanks. I got shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm? Does the name Shadow Master 69's Chronicles ring any bells? <laughs> wow, you went pale. No, the, the name doesn't ring any bells. May 22nd. Today, my daily card readings told me that I'd meet great change thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me I had been picked for an inter-school contest with my latest essay. I just knew a scientific theory on the idea of auras was as revolutionary as I thought. Soon, I'll bring the world into the occult science singularity. Later entries don't seem to have gone that well, though. Menace of being laughed at, being lectured on why the essay was wrong. <laughs> Jill? I made sure to delete that blog! No evidence should be left! Oh no. I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that have all that stuff archived. Why? Why? <laughs> Jeez, relax. It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Don't you realize how embarrassing it all is? We've all been young, Jill. Relax. No, Jill's into auras. It's not like you're still like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not still like that, right? Gods, no. I gave up on the whole occult stuff. It's just that remembering all that stuff is... <laughs> I don't know. I like the way you looked. All dressed in black with the rare accessory popping out, thanks to the colors. I mean, at least you had the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. <laughs> so you have a pick. Oh god, you have a fucking pick. Why do you do this to me? Why do you dig all the sins of my past? I was bored. <laughs> Last Friday, I had to take my mind off the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small background check on you. Simple stuff, just checking past internet activity. Oh god. Please don't run background checks like that. I just used a search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. What led you to the page? You do realize your main mail account is- uh, uh, You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? <laughs> like I said, relax. You were obsessed with, the, with the cult, uh, occultism, I wanted to kiss all the boys, and I kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. Uh, never underestimate the lengths old classmates go to track you down, especially if they think you're still the girl that kissed them for fun and they're lonely to boot. We all have things we're not too proud of as adults. Uh, now I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. <laughs> I have to ask though, why the 69? 
It was supposed to be 6-9, not 69, like a reference to both the lovers and the hermit. I was convinced it meant wise choices. Jill, there's nobody that would read that as 6-9. I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I fucking knew what a 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? You have no idea. Well, let's sweeten up things a bit. I'll have a sugar rush. Sure. A sugar rush? Are they training now or something? <laughs> well, at least, uh, you know, she got onto the uh, shining fingered train, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, what, what, what is life if not ribbing your friends over some shit, you know? What is life if not ribbing your friends? <laughs> <laughs> Here. <laughs> this is the thing. Ugh. Say, almost, speaking of the past, what was your last long term relationship like? That's sudden. You dug through my past. I've earned the right to dig through yours. Fine, fine. Long lasting relationships, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing. Yep. Hmm. Well, I've had about four boyfriends who I describe as such. That I have uh, that I've int introduced to my family and all. The first one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. I remember the other girl trying to pick a fight, and me just saying, keep the fucker. Keep the fucker. <laughs> <laughs> the second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. Oh. He starts with a friendly hit, and before you know it... Anyways. The other guy I met shortly after I dropped out. He was interested in marriage, but he wanted to get married after only half a year or so of knowing him. And then there's Richard. Who? I spent almost four years with him. We got along pretty well. We had awesome chemistry. I truly loved him. When as time went by, there was a rift that started separating us. He just didn't like my family. He didn't. Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. There was a part of me that wanted to believe, even just for a little bit, that maybe he changed his mind. When as much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us. And at one point, I just had to break up with him. Well, I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, will ya? Sure. Let's get her a beer. Yeah, guys, just keep ordering him. Fucking put him the fuck down. I need to pay my fucking rent. Slam him back, ladies. All mixed. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Don't mention it. Okay, one more question, we're even. Wow, you really are embarrassed of that blog, huh? Sure, ask away. At what age did you get those implants? Er, at what age did you get those implants in your boobs? <laughs> Jill, I love you and I know you're saying that in jest, but I've lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't and won't take it as a joke. As such, in honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real, and they're spectacular. <laughs> now ask the real question before I slap you. I'll grant you one and only one chance to call me by my full name as compensation then. I'd gladly take your offer. It's funny that you mentioned slapping because my real question was, why did you get your hands chopped? <laughs> chopped. Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first is that I spent lots of time typing, and these replacements helped me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess. There's other utilities, like how I can interface with many devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. What? If I move my index finger, it acts like the computer's cursor. What? There's lots more, but there's small things that don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. How did your family take the operation? Uh, they took it well enough, except for my mom. She freaked out for months. She even went to the hospital to ask for my hands. <laughs> <laughs> don't you miss them? Sometimes, but just during emotional moments. But as luck was have it, someone else has them. What? Shortly before an operation, there was an accident on the highway. One of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got completely crushed. I told them to check if we were compatible and all that. I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice if they can get a natural replacement. A bit of cosmetic treatment and it could pass off as her original hand with no problem. Last I heard, we were compatible and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. You didn't tell your mom about that? I didn't want to impress her in the poor girl. So, are we cool now? Are we even now? Are we? You were pretty pissed about my comment regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry. It sounded a lot less rude in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. Besides, I get to call you Julianne once. Now you don't. Eh? Why? <laughs> you just call me by my full name. Are you serious? 
One chance and only one chance. And you just used it up. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Surprise. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yep, let me get back to the reverb. Hey, Alma. This might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Hey. Not particularly, no. Well, there was this paper I read once that was quite interesting. Hmm? It proposed a scenario where nanomachine clusters would leave the body after death. Oh. And then act as a collective hive mind through residual brainwaves. Mm -hmm. The result would basically be an image not unlike a hologram. Of course, the hypothesis fell through because such nanomachine density is impossible in the body. Even 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the, make the blood too dense for the heart. And it's not like the brainwaves are potent enough to create those re reactions. Still an interesting read, though. I see. Hmm. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault that you convinced yourself that you're crazy. <laughs> well, I'll leave then. See you tomorrow. See ya. How about a drink for the road? <laughs> All done. <laughs> All done. I am. What about you, Gil? For some reason, the Isle Girl left him like that, it seems. You think? It might have been while he was out. True. Hey, boss. You're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean, you were a wrestler, so... That I am, yeah. Why? I was wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Aren't twin tails for little girls and teens <laughs> with 8th grade syndrome? 8th <laughs> grade what? When you get down to it, wrestling is as real as soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in a ring, right? Sure, in my ideal world, you would solve legal problems through good old wrestling, but... <clears throat> no, seriously, 8th grade what? But you don't go around calling soap operas fake. It's a show, it just so happens to use fights as an expression. You might as well see it as a unique form of theater. Besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's not all fake. Huh, I didn't think about it that way. Sadly, I won't stand for anyone bad-mouthing wrestling. So now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. <laughs> oh, look at Sheik! <laughs> um, she referenced the legend of the world. Rest in peace, Sheik. Now, I don't know if we're about to uh, fade out here to the, the results screen, but when we do, we both have to close our eyes, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, well. Wait, what? <laughs> Come here, fuck boy! <laughs> fuck boy! <laughs> ah! She really did it! <laughs> Eighth grade what? Oh, close your eyes. Okay, closing your eyes. Okay. I'm like, uh, can, can I get a drum roll, please? Uh, the, uh, the, right. I'm, I'm smacking my Three, cake. two, one. Oh, we made Woo! it! <laughs> oh my god. 500 bucks. It was the tea. <laughs> it was. Yeah, Ooh. if she didn't order that tea, that we'd been fucked. Who would have thought we'd get a bona fide idol in the bar? Oh, holy shit, bro, we well, fucking did it! The tea and Dana's oh. uh, thing. Make sure Jill's gonna distract even once and make sure Jill pays all of her bills. We just got those. Oh, dude, nice. Oh, Jill, Jill will have, have a roof, roof on her, her head. head for another month. The sense of relief will make sure she focuses at work. Oh. We, dude, we did it. You did oh, it. Fuck you me. son of a bitch. You know, I was kind of thinking of like, 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 you know, because there was a time at the start where people would like ask for something like that, and I would just like, you know, we just like, oh, like, what drink haven't we served? And I was like thinking, yeah. like, like, have we fucked ourselves over? <laughs> and you know, as well, like, like, fuck me, like been, the video game console, like, I bought that, like, we've been talking we, about like, this for boom. a couple of weeks. Yes. <sighs> we have a roof overhead for another month. Yay! 